nitric oxide is known as a powerful vasodilator. And so the nitric medications include denitroglycerin, isobride dinitrate, which is extensively metabolized by the liver, and the isobride mononitrate, which is actually the active metabolite of isobride dinitrate and it has almost 100% bioavailability. Once the nitrate products enter the system, they will go into the smooth muscles of the vascular system and inside the cells will, they will be converted into nitric oxide. Nitric oxide will release the cyclic GMP, which will decrease the intracellular calcium and cause myosin dephosphorylation. And this translates into smooth muscle relaxation. The effects are mainly seen in the veins, but if used at higher doses, they can also affect the arteries, but they will have more side effects. Nitrate products are mainly used with acute angina or acute coronary syndrome. They can relax the heart and decrease the oxygen demand. However, their main effects stem from dilation of the large arteries and not the small arterioles. While it's true that they cause some dilation in the coronary arteries, most of their action affects larger vessels. They decrease the oxygen demand of the heart by decreasing the preload and if used at higher doses, they also decrease the afterload. Dilation of the veins increases the venous compliance and decreases both the cardiac load and the left ventricular and diastolic pressure and left ventricular and diastolic volume. And that's what reduces the cardiac stress. Because the heart is now relaxed and it doesn't require as much contraction, it will require less and less oxygen, which makes nitrates perfect for oxygen-related issues, such as angina. If the dose is high enough, they will also cause relaxation of the arteries, and so the afterload will also decrease. In cases of acute angina, nitroglycerin can be used as a sublingual tablet. This immediately relieves the symptoms of angina. But if a patient wants to take higher doses for longer periods of time, for prevention of stable angina, they have to use the oral isosorbide forms. Nitroglycerin is very, very effective, and the reason that we cannot use it in chronic patients is because tolerance or tachyphylaxis develops very, very rapidly. Patients who have been taking nitroglycerin for longer times have shown to not release nitric oxide once nitroglycerin is administered. The side effects include reflexive tachycardia, just like with hydralazine, and just like with hydralazine, it is also treated with beta blockers, hypotension, especially at higher doses, flushing, which is caused by dilation of the arterioles in the skin, headache, which is caused by dilation of the arterioles in the meninges, and in certain scenarios, it can cause the Monday disease, which is developing tachycardia, headache, and dizziness on Monday. This is only true in patients who are constantly exposed to nitrate products in their work environment. They simply develop tolerance over the week and lose this tolerance in the weekend. And once Monday comes around, they are re-exposed to nitrate products and they will have these symptoms. The nitrate products are contraindicated in patients with right heart failure, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and of course, phosphodiesterase inhibitors, like Viagra, for example, because it results in further hypertension. Use the link below to get access to the full cardiology medications course. The course includes all heart medications, their mechanism of action, the side effects, and the important notes. With every lecture in the course, you will have the external links referencing the updated guidelines so that you stay up to date and you don't miss anything. You can also test your knowledge by answering the MCQs and the quizzes included in the course. It's an excellent way to stay updated and to remember everything. Thank you for watching.